Also, uh, Aberdeen are somehow beating Burnley. All right. And Rangers are also winning. The Hibs are losing, so. Oh, I was going to say, an all round good day for Scottish football, but. No, that would never happen. Anyway, enough about Scotland. We are not Scotland, we are Ireland. The mighty, mighty OPM Scotland. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they are an OPM now, aren't they? Yep. Perth. <laughs> Oh, that blacksmith is furiously trying to prepare the army. Drum up the Highland regiments, which is probably what we're going to need to do. <laughs> yeah, we should get that event too. The English are coming by by land, by land, I think, in this case. Okay, so last time... Let me just refresh my own memory. Oh yeah, I teched up to tech five didn't i over goose basically yeah <laughs> that's the sharp version goose with a capital f uh where is the most favorable terrain right so debasing your currency gives you 37 but increases corruption by two percent i don't know what corruption does i don't know do they not, does it not show you in the train map mode what the percent... Have they taken that out now? Like, what percentage of terrains things are? Or is it now just, like... Thing... It is It is Highlands, and it will always be Highlands. You don't have the percentage, like, chance for Highlands. Percentage chance for Plains. Don't know. Okay. Right. Right, indeed. Right. So you escaped here, Eogin. Ah, I'm already paying for my castle, that's fine. Um, so your 1k stack might want to join up with my 5k stack. My 4k <laughs> stack will try and meet up, meet up with your 9k stack. Sorry, what were you going to say? Mercs are expensive. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh, yes, they are. Uh, we're going to have to go over a force limit as well. Yep. Oh, my currency is so debased. Just print the shekels. Have you have you, have you just been spamming that debase? Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. wonder if it might be worth trying to get to Ulster and just, uh, just burning that land. Scorch that earth. Should I try running across the water, or...? I think as soon as you try that, the Ulster and English fleets are going to try and sail out. You can try, but... Uh... Mm, okay. Uh... Right, I'm going to have to take that leader off of there. Put him on here. Calling my diplomat from counter espionage, and I'm going to start boosting relations with Burgundy. <clears throat> yeah, that's a good idea. Isn't it? Might even pull my diplomat, but uh, I'll keep him in Portugal for a wee while longer. Are we marking up right away? Or are we going to see where the, what the <laughs> yeah, situation is? Up. Where are you marking? In Ireland. In Ireland. So the problem is. Well, yeah, Ireland's a risky, a risky one. Oof. Oof. I don't like it. Oh, my shekels. That's fine, it only does corruption, so it's fine. We don't know what corruption does. I, I'm not reassured. It reduces, it reduces unrest. Somehow. Okay. Foreign spy detection minus spy network construction minus all power cost plus minimum autonomy plus. Okay. Right, I'm going to try and sneak my ships to the Outer Hebrides. See if we can't do a little Dunkirk out of, uh, out of Scotland. <laughs> Oh, jeez, we're going to need that. Yeah. Yeah, let no good Irishman be left behind. 
Uh, right, yeah. estates. How can how can you help me? <laughs> Manpower might need that soon. Hey, England, do you want to take a separate piece? Oh, see, this is where I wish we had our Crusader Kings like assassinate the ruler option, and then the war just ends. Yeah, that would be good. Uh, hey, Denmark, old buddy, old pal. Ah, the Mamluks. You're <laughs> rivaled with England. Do you want to come and help us? Are they really? I'm ready to unpause. <laughs> right, let's... I don't know what speed the game is on. It looks like it's on five, but let's speed one this stuff and, like, take it a couple of hours at a time. Okay, we've not lost yet. Uh, it's way too fast. <laughs> right, what, what's changed here? What's changed here? Okay. Oh, yeah, they're moving to block the straight. Yeah. Oh, ah, they're, pursu boy, boy. they're pursuing my fleet as well. Do I escape? I don't know. I'm, I'm locked in. Like you've never sailed before. Whip those horse boats. Okay, right. So they get there in the 18th. The 19th. Ulster is somehow faster than the English fleet, I guess. But fine. Although, I, if I've drawn them out there, you could escape across the water now. You're right. Ah, I'm locked in. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're also marching 3k across to here. Right, sure. I'll turn back and try and march across. Right, I'll come down to... to to reinforce you, I guess. Oh, God, right. <laughs> One day at a time. Right, Ulster have stopped moving, as have England, so they're they're blockading us in that. No, Ulster are still moving. Ulster are trying to chase me down with their six light ships. Looks like you're going to engage England. I think, are they locked in? They're not locked in. Oh, boy. Uh, you, you're locked in, and jeez, oh, right? I'm gonna come and try and um, save your save your Irish ass in Sligo. Right, okay. Magnus O'Connor is the film. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, not bad actually. Well, I'm just I'm just warning you right now that my guys have nay morale because I just fine. tick them up. Oh, they stopped. <clears throat> the sight of my 5,000 morales warriors. And uh, Ulster have stopped England's... their pursuit of my fleet. Do you want to stop marching into Ayrshire? Please. You can't beat them. Oh, Castile are subsidizing me. Why? <laughs> You're nice. England's ally. <laughs> um... Do you have positive relations with Castile, I take it? Yeah. How are they not subsidizing me? I'm, I'm plus 90 with them. Yeah, I'm 98. <laughs> oh, Castile, I thought we were bros. Burgundy. Let's improve them relations. Burgundy, would you take an alliance? I wouldn't like this game. I know, this is, this is, oh, right. How quickly do you get across the Irish Sea? 5th of December. Somehow Not... beat them across the street. Right, well, I'm going to run away to the Outer Hebrides and hope that my boats can get me home. Take oh, no, me the, home. The Irish boats get, but they, they don't block because I own Ayrshire, is that right? Uh, no, they will block. They will block. Oh. You need to own both sides. Oh. Ugh. Unless they change their mind about where they're moving. I'm going to run to London and make a break for it. <laughs> you won't get past the fort. No, just you watch me. <laughs> Those sneaky Irish. Sneaking past a fort. Right. Come on. Uh, Ulster are getting there on the 29th. I think they're locked in anyway. What? England, where did you get another full squadron of ships? 
I don't even know. Right. Uh, and they're coming to blockade as well. I think they might even be coming to cut me off. Uh, the Hebrides. Four Norwegian uh, light or small ships. Campers. They they might actually, if they dock. Hey Norway, I can run away. I can actually run away to Orkney. Um, yeah, I'm gonna hold hold fire here for a moment. Right. Shall we crush this Ulster so I can siege them so we can quickly win the war? <laughs> I like your thinking. Because if we own both sides, then that means I can cross. Yeah, absolutely. But we will have to siege them down because they got a cap for it. Yeah, true. true. All right. Oh, let's, boy. Let's England do this. England are sieging that province. Scotland, old buddy, old pal. don't think they're going to help <laughs> after what we did to them. That's a paddling. Right. Okay, so the English fleet are sailing around to Donegal Bay. The other fleets are moving away from the Irish Sea, but they're going to be blockading me in the Outer Hebrides. The 8th of December, yeah, I'm never getting, never getting my boats out there. Hey, Norway. Right. Let's crush Ulster. Okay, I will attach to you. Let your guys take the center. Yeah, it's, it's my king that's leading this, but, but whatever. No problem. If he dies, maybe the war will end. Ah, double stab it, you say. Oh, Norway. Oh, Norway, no. With your one Seriously. heavy ship? Ah, uh, no, it's not. They they beat that Ulsterian fleet, but the English fleet is not far away. Is the problem? English fleet with its with its loads of cogs, but not much else. Yeah, that's a full cogs wall. Hmm. Right. Right. Let me just have a wee look at something here on the wiki. Because cogs have not many not many guns compared to a heavy. Right. What, are you going to jump out and stall those Ulsterians? Cogs at tech level nothing um, have four cannons and twelve hull. Uh, and the earliest heavy is an early Carrick with twenty hull and forty cannon. Now, light ships have eight hull and ten cannon I, I think the 20 20 ca 21 cannon 21 times four cannon is 80 80 odd cannon which is quite a lot of cannon but what have you jumped out with your dudes to this is the this is where it's getting real complicated like real real complicated <laughs> And I'll jump out with my dudes too. You can't. You're in the Irish. You jump into the. Well. They jumping away. They are jumping away. Problem is, light ships. Light ships do not have a lot of hull. They've got a cannon. So how many? How many guns could we bring to bear on them here? It's worth doing the math in this. I could bring seventy cannon, and eighty hull. Might be worth doing. Do you know? Might almost be worth doing. Oh, mercy. Well, there will be a fight there. It's just about whether you're going to back them up. Well, not. It, 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 well, I could let the fight, fight start. I, well, I think if you join it, you'll definitely destroy those six, but it's whether that 23 join them. Well, that's the thing. Like, yeah, if it was just the six, oh, yeah, I would do it and. Like, but even no, still, I don't think I think they'll be destroyed enough for this twenty-three to back off by the time you get out. See, tw like they do have about 80, 80 cannons there, and a general. Yeah, I don't even know if it's worth rolling up an admiral. Does it cost? What does it cost? Is co it costs mill points, doesn't it? No, it costs dip. It's not too bad. 
What am I going to spend dip on if we don't win? Conkobar <laughs> Fitz Thomas. Yep. Okay, he's awful because he's got three pips in siege. Wait, what? Don't even know. Oh, I don't even know. Don't even know. Oh. They're not fire. No, it's definitely siege. But you can't siege in a boat. Guess it's to do with blockade, maybe. Who knows? Unless like blockading ships now add like their admiral siege pips to a like land-based siege. I don't know. He's got two pips in fire, which is fine. All right. Okay. Let's roll. Hold on, hold on. Forty cannons. Twenty, 20 hull. The problem is the carrot. If the carrot, if they, if that Norwegian heavy goes down, it's problematic. Although it looks like Norway are bringing five more ships to the party. Yeah. And the Danish fleet is sailing out as well. So. Ah, Danish fleet. Don't don't make me laugh with their entire stack of galleys. Ah, well, we can always pull back, I guess. Let's see what happens here. Oh, the English are here. The English are, are, are coming for me. And then Norwegians buggered off. Of course they did. I should I should have held off. Oh well. Rip my seven ships. I can't retreat for so long. I was a fool. I was an absolute fool. Well, you at least didn't lose anyone. I, yeah, I didn't lose anyone. Nor did they, but I lost faith in the Norwegians. <laughs> uh, oh, that English stack is trying to trying yeah, to. Yeah, I have two days I'll cross. So. <laughs> mm. so you get across, right? And then we have. Unless there's someone in St George's Channel who crosses or who comes tomorrow. <laughs> There's no one in St. George's Channel. The Ulsterian fleet are trying to get there, but they won't get there for six days. Okay, so I'll cross. So are we going to move on to Ulster then? Yeah. Start sieging that. Yeah. Stop the English crossing, at least. Okay. We can wait on Ireland and laugh. Laugh as our ducats trickle away. Yeah. And England are just undeterred. <laughs> oh... I'll just pull out my ships to block. Yeah. The Ireland are coming. Uh, Ulster are coming. Well, maybe we can take them. <laughs> Ulster? Uh, or England? England. What, 9,000 troops plus however many thousand? 8,000 plus 5,000. 20. They, they outnumber us. Yeah, but, but they're crossing a strait. And they're also going into woods as well. They do have a five maneuver general. Uh, they're also Miltech six. They, yeah, how the feck did they get Miltech six? I don't know. Don't know. <laughs> like, I'm not getting that for another eight years at my current rate. We'll put it this way. If they're going to cross, we may as well fight them now because we're not going to beat them in any other point in Ireland, so... I suppose. Unless we can... Yeah, but we might be able to rustle up a couple more... Uh, Mercs. Um, how quickly can your guys get out to the Irish Sea if you sail them out? 27th. Which would block but them. Those, um, but those the Ulster ships would come and get my guys. <laughs> I think you can beat the Ulster ships, though. I've got like no morale, though. Uh, who needs morale? They've got no. They've got less morale as well. Well, I could try and then just retreat. I mean, I guess. 
Ulster, why are Ulster getting a minus two crossing penalty in the naval battle? The other thing is whether you roll up an admiral as well. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Five siege pips, you say? One siege pip. <laughs> but that is that is not bad with the maneuver as well. I might even get you out. Get you out of dodge. Mm. Mm. With my naval tradition. 18 naval tradition. The question is whether we want to stop them or not. I don't know. The other thing is, I actually don't know if we will stop them. Because if they get there first, I don't think we can blockade like during a naval battle. I think the naval battle has to be resolved. Mm. I don't know. Let's just fight them. Yeah, well... I would still, I'd still bring your ships out because I think you can, I think you could whittle that Ulsterian fleet down a bit. Mm. As you say, you can always retreat if needs be because they should, they should still be damaged. They've not put into port since they fought me. Um, admittedly, with the help of the English. All right. Come on then, have at it. Okay, so they're still marching. They're slightly damaged. <laughs> Yeah, they are slightly damaged. Well, one of them is quite damaged. If that if the cork goes down, take it on. Oh, boy. Right, England have stopped. So I'm going to stop marching as well. Go back to the Hebrides because England are sailing over to Shetland. I might be able to Dunkirk my guys across to Ireland. Oh, that would be that would be good if you could. You keeping an eye on that naval battle? Yeah. And you, I know you can't retreat until the I, 8th. I am, I am winning actually quite quite handily. Keep the good rules coming. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, there are some good rules. <laughs> England are sailing all the way to Norway. They're taking on the Danish <laughs> fleet. The Danish cogs. That's fine. They can do that. They can just... I don't know. Is that Cogs versus cogs. Yeah. It is, uh, but that Dana they also have light ships which have a few cannon. I'm a bit concerned that that Danish fleet has troops loaded that we're going for the continent, but hey. -ho. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. Well, nothing we can do about it. Or exactly. can we? No, we can't. Bad roll. Ah, I won. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and my admiral's now a buccaneer. I think I sank two of their ships. It's the way to go. Uh, oh no, it's, I think I stole them. Nice. Now you have I to have pay for them. Ships, eh? Right, back back to port quickly. Yeah. Like, don't go there. No, I'd, I'd keep them in. Where are you, where are you taking our trips? Sorry. That's right. Oh. Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna try and. <laughs> Oh England, stop! Oh, get... oh no, England! No, England! Ah, oh, that's their heavies, isn't it? Oh, England! I'm gonna go there. Where are you going? Um, to Tyr Eochan. If I go to Argyll, yeah. I'll just uh... yeah, I, I get your point. So England, about that piece. How, oh, I thought I had more than three, uh, three cogs. Oh, well. Wait, all right, England aren't marching anymore. That's fine. There they are again. Yeah, You've got a there. spawned Merc. Oh, yeah, good point. I'm a coming. Are those guys in St. George's Channel still? Which guys? The... English Blue Squadron, yeah, they're in St George's Channel. Oh, did you have you seen that fight in uh, near Norway? Oh yeah, Norway brought their heavies. <laughs> Norway, damn son, make me proud. Mecklenburg, why is Mecklenburg in? Oh no, they're just sailing through. 
So Denmark are bringing more boats as well. Oh, they are bringing their boys to the yard. <sighs> looks like looks like Norway are bringing back another heavy as well. Right, what do we do here about the English sitch? What them marching on us? Yeah. Prey. A bit of an old prey. I'm hopefully getting another another three thousand good old Irish lads back. But I don't know if it'll be in time to help with any potential battle. We shall see. It's also the small matter of Blue Squadron. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we shall see. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Stop marching, you fools. Right, run. <laughs> Forced march to Ulster. This is like Dunkirk. <laughs> yep. It really is. So they're gonna. They might get a cro minus two crossing penalty. Oh, if the attacking general has higher maneuver than the defending general, the crossing penalty will be ignored. Uh, to five. So they should still get the crossing penalty. Yeah. Don't let your king die. <laughs> Don't let your king die. The last day of the siege, he has a heart attack. <laughs> uh, England's war enthusiasm is high. Also, can I get some subsidies from like some AI here? Oh, I What's might. What's your profit? My profit. Yes. Don't make me laugh. Minus four ducats per month. Uh, minus three point four four. Well, there you go. The I don't know if it's Spanish shekels. <laughs> Count them pesos. I don't know if I'll get any because I'm not the war leader. It might just be the war leader that gets them. Yeah, possibly. Trickle down economics for you. Well, I'll give you some subsidies. So. That's, that's fine. Just just keep them shekels. We're going to need them. Oh, they're locked in. <laughs> Dear oh, goodness. Oh, boy. This is it. How many do we have there? 20,000. We don't have enough. How quickly could you recruit American Slay and Tiergo Eogan? Um... take a loan to build America. I don't have enough money. <laughs> no problem. Um, I'm going to hire a discipline guy. Oh yeah. It's a good idea. Just because we need the percentages uh, here. Land modifier, you say. Land maintenance modifier. Oh, war taxes. That's a good idea. Oh, I hate, hate paying that mill when we're behind in mill tech. Uh, I'll hold off for now. Oh, gosh. Okay. Right. Okay. I'm a coming. Run as fast as your Irish legs can carry you. Oh, oh that is not pretty. That we is. have more morale and discipline. Yeah, but we've. Why have we not started at full morale? And why do we get a terrain penalty? Yeah, we have pretty bad mill techs. Their width is much better. Why do we get a why do we get a terrain penalty? Dice roll for attacker. How? Oh, I don't know. Land fire damage on their general as well. Jeez. Oh, and their tactics. Oh, that's disgusting. It's all the horses they have. I'll get there in seven days. That's not good. <laughs> no. That is not good at all. Oh my gosh. Even our better rolls, we're still losing, guys. Ah, I should not reinforce defeat. I shouldn't reinforce defeat. Uh, on the plus side, they won that uh, naval battle. <laughs> yeah, I'm running, by the way. 
11, 12,000 Irish men died that day. Hell, we didn't need them anyway. Uh, okay, well, my 1k stack is going to march on that 20k stack. <laughs> yeah, they're brave, brave men. Well, that was our best shot. Uh... <laughs> oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear and they're gonna get ticking war score as well not if I march my 1k stack down to take east march which is my plan all along yeah 1k 1k stack just stack wipes itself Oh dear. Well, at least the Scandinavian navies are moving into position to start blockading some of it, some of England. Ah, Scotland fabricating on me. I like, I like their style. Uh, uh Denmark are landing troops on core just where we need them. Yeah, Scotland have insulted us. Terrible state events. Okay, maybe we can sneak past England and go and counter siege them. Yeah. Wait for my morale to tick back up. And as I say, I've got a 1k stack that's coming to, to de-siege East March, which should give us a bit of war score. Ah! <laughs> ah! Ottomans! Giving me subsidies. Really? Yeah. Nice. Brittany just gave me a gift. <laughs> My balance is now minus nine. But, uh, uh, nice. Got those Ottoman subsidies. So Mamluks, you want to give me some subsidies, don't you? <laughs> Quickly siege the pale while they're distracted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never mind that. Let's get on Ulster as well. Yeah, Ulster are actually recruiting as well. So. I think there was uh, Danish got driven off. Oh, uh, and there's yeah. a battle going on as well. Yeah, just don't look over there. It's not happening. It's not happening. Like happy thoughts. Don't know why Norway doesn't sail down there. Well, their three heavies might not make a difference. Yeah. I'm going to come and stack up with your ships. Okay. Uh, well, it might be useful to have ships. It might be useful for me to come and stack up with your ships. I don't know. Okay, well, I'm going to sail to Donegal. Okay. It's just it's always useful to be able to block that straight really quickly. I'm gonna come down to yeah. Ayrshire. I mean it's only blue squad squadron we have to worry about. I mean, admittedly that six heavies. Ah, oh, they managed to recruit a troop. Disgusting. I'm locked in. You think you'll be okay? Hopefully England don't think ah a battle. I'm worried that they might. They don't have any siege progress. Well, they do have siege progress. Oh. Yeah, more war score for us. Damn right. It was all part of the plan. It was always part of the plan. I am about to take a loan next month. Ah. Uh, Ottoman protection. I could use some of that right about now. Yes. Irish escape to Crimea. <laughs> you can call it New Crimea. Crimea. Ah, Tarconal separatists. Ah, I have the pale. Nice. 
Right, now give me that England or face the terms. Oh, hold on. If you, sorry, you don't mean to unpause that. Ah, I got so uh, loads of pop-ups there. With the union of Magnus and Bebin, we have not only gained a spouse but also the a new ally in the realm. I sorry, I don't want to be like gender normative here, but which one's the husband? Magnus or Bebin? Both of them. That's that's okay. I'm modern, like you know, fifteenth <laughs> century Europe was, was a good Wait, time. Are you Bebin? Are you Bebin? I'm Bertie. Uh, no, I am I am Bebin O'Connor. Who who is Bebin? Is Bebin 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 is you? No. Yeah, uh, you're you're it? Bebin. Yeah, Queen Consort. Oh right, okay. Who is Bebin? Where what is Bebin? Bebin? Oh, I think I died. Oh no, I got a queen. That's what happened. And an ear. Oh, Bebin is good. Yeah. Does good. that mean I'm not going to have a consort anymore? What was she? Your wife? Bebin O'Connor. Yeah, was my was my wife. <laughs> so she knew my wife. <laughs> I don't know. That seems not right, but okay. Do you know we could actually land some troops in Lancashire and start siege in Lancashire, York, yeah. Hull. Anywhere that's not near a fort. Hmm. The plot thickens. Thick plottens indeed. The yeah, question is, where is that blue squadron? I'm ready to unpause when you are. Uh, okay. Yes, yeah, sir. You, you got the button. <clears throat> right. Give me two units of your finest Irish men. And then give me... Um, uh, Irish stealth gliders. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Little Irish marine... Little Irish marine landing. Why do I have to go to the Pale to march onto those ships? Why can't I just march straight onto them from Ulster? That confuses me. Well. Just keep an eye out for that red squadron. Why, well, blue squadron. All the squadrons. Oh, that's the there blue squadron. It is. Back to port, lads. Back to port. Nothing to yeah. see here. We weren't trying anything in England. We were just having a sail. Yeah. Here's the <laughs> good old sail. Norwegian Fourth Fleet. Yeah, they don't have six heavies, unlike the Blue Squadron. Ah, oh, see if we could sink that Blue Squadron, though, man. Yeah. I know my ports are blockaded. I can't really do anything about that. Uh, I know I've got an expiring Cassus. Uh, jeez. Well, at least they're not getting ticking war score. There comes the loan. Yeah, I got a loan too. Got a large loan right enough, but anyway, right. What I might do in a risky, a risky, risky maneuver. I think they're going to move down to my capital after they've gone for you. I wonder if I can jump back on it. Quickly. Does that, does that still Easy. work? Yeah. I'm that, not sure how it works. Know. I don't know if it works. Friends in need. Ah. Ah. Again? No, but that means you... What? You're sucking my military power. I thought, no, it came up saying I sent a letter to Bev and my wife. Asking for help. Wait, what? It's the same as what happened before. Is Bevan also your wife? 
Bebbins the Queen. I guess. Yes. It's a ruler's concert. Bebbin O'Connor. Oh, my Bebbin's different from your Bebbin. My Bebbin's Bebbin Ua Phelan. Who's your Bebbin? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. How do I even check who my Bebbin is? I had it there a minute ago. Uh, Bebbin O'Connor. 254. Yeah. Denmark have gone to blockade again. Hey, Blue Little Squadron. Landing. Do you want to go and deal with that, Blue Squadron? Oh, that takes like a whole a month and a half to land in Norfolk. Yep. Oh, well, Blue Squadron aren't doing anything, so... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Not good. This whole thing is not good. Yep. Given how much faster their siege is progressing, I would agree it's not good. Right, go on, big breach. Big breach. And then we'll assault. <laughs> My man, you don't. Norway are landing as well. Quick, quick take of uh, London. And we'll be home in time for Christmas. Yep, that's it. What would uh, what would they take for a piece at the moment, out of interest? It's minus forty. Like, what if we gave them East March? Um, well, the suggested one is East March, Ayrshire, Tyrochin, and you'll fail to England. Yeah. I mean, if it was like release Tyrogan and UFL as a, even that wouldn't be great because they could just diplovasalize them immediately. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> I think we just keep going. Because maybe with their capitals under siege and the war score ticks a bit, then maybe they'll change their chin. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay, I, I like your uh, your optimism. Okay, never mind. They've got my capital, and they're coming for you. And I can't escape. I can't escape. I'm gonna try and. Uh... <laughs> uh... Can't even dismiss troops anymore. And they're marching on you. <laughs> You're like immediately marching into Sligo. <laughs> Are they going home? Yeah, get out of our country. Go on. <laughs> Quickly, if we, if we retake this, then everything. Maybe they're going for the war goal. Maybe that's it. Maybe. We'll just let Denmark land first. Oh, their ships are moving. Oh, they are going home. Oh, it's a good time to be Irish. Question is should we block them from going home? Uh, no. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just thinking if that gives the Danes and the the, the Nords time time to uh, siege down London. I don't know. I don't know. No, let's let's advance it on until the blue squadron is away. Anyway, I mean, I can I can stop them marching. That is a high risk maneuver right there. How, how quickly? Yeah. 21st. So I can get out there in two days. 
so as long as we don't go past the 25th, have we think about it. Stay. Yeah, that blue squadron is going for Denmark, so... Oh, they're, Denmark have landed. The Danes have landed. Viking raids in the 15th century. Well, what are we doing about the royal army led, led by Archibald Howe? We lost the guy called Archibald. Yeah, I mean, if England get back to mainland UK, they wipe, they wipe that expeditionary force. I think the war will have ended by then. By the time they get down there, I, I think we can re-siege Sligo and they can siege Norfolk and things like that, and everything will be fine. They, we're, they're going to get absolutely no war score for taking Norfolk, though. It's no, it's not got a fort. Yeah, but I'll get some. I'm gonna go and um, you want me to let Donegal. You want me to let them let them cross then? I I'd let them go. Okay. Because we don't want them coming back and going for our army who's desieging. That's true, but they might just be so confused that they can't path that they might just stand there, like try like if I sail out every two days. I mean, I don't know. Problem is, I've not. I, I, this is where my lack of familiarity with the AI really, you know, causes problems. Yeah. I'll let them go. They're not even sieging Norfolk anymore. <laughs> I don't know where they're going. Uh. Should we just um, assault this? If they're hunt we can't until we well, get a breach. Yeah, damn. Oh, Norway. Oh, Norway. Yeah, they landed their troops at least. White Squadron? When the hell did they get White Squadron? I don't know. <laughs> or unless White Squadron is the remnants of Red Squadron. That makes sense. Please escape up to Inverness. All right, they're not going for that. That's fine. Yeah, just go for a walk through England. It's fine. They're sending trips back. Yeah, it's only 3k. Yeah, they're going to re-siege the war goal, try and get some ticking war score. So they are. Denmark, where are you going? You're going to go siege Wales? <laughs> okay. Come on, big breach, big breach, big breach. Defender's Desert would be fine as well. Ah, breach. Nice. All right, go for the assault. They've only got 95. Not even that. Go home, England. Or come back to Ireland, England. Oh, don't tell them to come back. <laughs> uh, yeah, they've got the war goal now. That's an issue. Yeah, it only gives them 0.9 war score, but... Right, to Ulster we go. They're going low then. Yeah. Where is that blue squadron? Or even the white squadron? All watch, the squadrons. Watch out for your 1k stack. I don't know if they're marching up yeah, to it. I'm keeping an eye on them. Because if you can snipe peace march, then that might end the war. <laughs> think it will and they're gonna come straight back across and we're not in a better state now than we were before <laughs> 27th of October they make it 
Uh, I can sail out. I'm just going to stay here because there's no one coming. Stay where? In the Irish Sea. Ah, right, right. I didn't realize you were there as well. I did them a bamboozle. They've restacked. Oy, 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 oy. Ulster, how many trips do you have? A lot. We can't assault that. Right, Norway, just get Norfolk and you can have it. <laughs> Denmark, would you make up your aluminum? England as well. That'd be, that'd be good. All right, I've cored Sutherland. Keep walking up and down. <laughs> oh, God. 14%. If we get Ulster. Uh, Norway got Norfolk and yeah. that's all they wanted to do <laughs> yeah I don't know where this 25k stack links they're going each down Ayrshire maybe there's the boats white squadron oh joy if they come to the sea we are in trouble yeah if that 25k stack would just get lost. That'd be nice. Alright, come on. If we get a breach here, we're assaulting. <laughs> uh... Right, if they keep marching, do you want to start marching down towards... Um, I will, as soon as I can see oh, them. Because... Uh... 900 soldiers still. It's more than 10 to 1. I think it should be fine. You think so? And I've got quite a few mercs as well, so... You want me to assault? I would. Godspeed. Oh god, that's a lot of losses. I cored Inverness and Argyle, so we're good. Yeah, it's all coming together. Throw the mercs onto the pile of bodies. Ulster will be Irish. <laughs> Shouldn't say that with such conviction. I'll be, you know, be accused of. Uh, yeah, right, we're winning the war. <laughs> England, want a want a peace deal? <laughs> Please tell me you have a free diplomat. I do. Um... Okay, so they take East March and Ayrshire now. So it's down to two provinces and some ducats. I think if you get that, that fourth army, they get <laughs> the Medal of Honor before it's time. Well, we'll see. Oh, why are you. Co oh, you have to come out. Right, I'm going to fight those guys. Yeah, I'm going to bring my buckets of strong Irish ships to this gunfight. Maybe we'll get a smidge more war score. Yeah, we need that point, point, oh. oh god, here comes the white squadron. They god, really, they really... They kill, them. kill them. No, no, they're going the other way. Are oh. they? Yeah, they're going to the Straits of Dover. And oh, that yeah. 25k stack is going to make absolute mincemeat of that Norwegian stack. Well, Norway have just been standing there, so it's their own fault. I agree. I'm going to try and snipe East March as well. Oh god. I, I, I genuinely think that ends the war. <laughs> I know I've said that a few times. <laughs> we'll be home in time for Christmas. Ah, 0.3 war score. That's what we need. Ulster have no fleet. Do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna sail on to St George's Channel. Get some extra blockade, blockade, money. Oh, blue squadron, no. Yeah, Turlo the fourth is now a bold fighter. Extra shock, you say, and we've taken a second loan. Nice. Okay, England are desieging Norfolk, which is good because that gives me time to see desiege East March. You're going to Scotland. Yeah. What if the 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 the, the fleets it's, come round? It's fine. I know what I'm doing. Oh, 
Jays. Why am I following a fool? Start sieging Westmarch. We're going to take stuff <laughs> in this war. <laughs> I'm not settling for a whatnot. If if White Squadron, like, go beyond the Moray Firth, I am force marching my guys back home. <laughs> I'm going to be on the other side of the island still. This, the problem is ships are a lot faster than men. Yeah, well. Oh, right, Denmark, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> They're going for England. They can take him. Danish might. God, that siege is going so slow, East March. 30 days. Uh, 39 days. Why is it 39 days? What? It takes them 22 days to de-siege Norfolk and me 39 days. <laughs> Why? English defensiveness, local defense, tactics differences, Thamundian siege ability. Is that just the game's way of saying, yeah, you're crap? Ah, English fleet are sailing sailing to catch that Norwegian fleet, uh, D Danish fleet. So you don't have to worry for the moment, he said, to tempt fate. <laughs> oh, boy, that's terrifying. What, them disappearing into the fog of war or the, the fleet? <laughs> yes. Yep, I agree. I don't see a siege view there anymore. <laughs> yeah... And ah, Denmark are coming to attach. Great. We could maybe stand toe to toe with their army now if we were all stacked up. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. You don't think so? 20, 30,000? 32,000? No, battered horribly. It's the tech, I think, it's the causing us the issues. Uh, I would agree, but. We'd at least give them a bit of a better run for their money. What's what's England thinking about peace now in about two seconds? Five, four. This is where the 30k stack come out of the fog of war. God, this is more tense than an episode of Game of Thrones! How many days? One. A day. Okay. So, England, you'll take a white piece, right? Right? Concede defeat? Oh, there's 23 off. <clears throat> what if you offer to annul our alliance? They don't want that. They'd only take a, a Danish one, but they also want East March. I <sighs> don't well, even know what we can do here. We can give them East March. Yeah. I mean, unless I mean, I, we've got two options here. I don't know if you can even get to Cumbria from where you are. Like our options are back up the Danes there and hope our numbers, hope our numbers do something. Denmark with their only tech five. Wittelsbach. Uh, or we we basically let England get away with the war goal uh, and and go away and lick our wounds. They want more than just the war goal. So. Oh, how much more? Um, well, when I do suggest offer, they want Ayrshire as well. Would they? What if they take out Ayrshire and say some ducats instead? They want concessions other than gold. Uh, is that giving you the minus 10,000 to... Oh no, they take... They take some East March, Denmark and some money. Can you offer them any Danish provinces? No. <laughs> Time was, you used to be able to do that. Hey, I've got an ally in the war. Look yeah. at Sweden go. Sweden, what are you doing, man? It's a bit late. <laughs> yeah. So you get rid of your alliance with Denmark, we give them these marches and some gold. Yeah. What well, do you think? We're about on the hour mark. We could 
save it here and consider our options. The Irish War Council. Yeah, can do. I, I don't know if we're going to get a much better offer. I don't I don't see how we can continue to outmaneuver. Um, cons- we can we can outmaneuver an army that is just better than us in all in all directions, basically. Um, backed up by a navy that is just better in all directions. Admittedly, a navy that was last seen somewhere in off the coast of Denmark, but I think it's coming back to the coming back to the British waters. Um, yeah, unless. Unless Brittany suddenly declared on England, that I think that'd be the only way we could reasonably hope to get anything more out of this. I mean, maybe we're maybe I'm not dreaming big enough here. Uh, maybe we can lure England onto Ireland, keep them blockaded, and start sieging silly things in in England. But yeah, it would take quite a bit of cheese to to get better than this, I think, and I don't actually know much cheese yeah i don't i don't know how well why don't why don't we why don't we save it here for now and we'll we'll consider our options and that option might just be to say yeah we'll we'll lick our wounds and be a bit more careful about like annexing the entirety of scotland next time uh and uh or and and or have a think Mm -hmm. okay that was that was some tense tense maneuvering, like as they say. Way better than expected, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I laugh because it 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 was, yeah, painful. But uh, yeah, I really thought our trips would do better. I didn't realize the tech jump from five to six was so devastating. Like they crossed. I don't, and again, I don't know why we got the attacker penalty. Not that it made a huge difference, but it made a difference for sure. Um, yeah. They sh- they really. Sh- I mean, according to what the tooltip said, they should have got a crossing penalty, and they should have taken the attacker penalty. They were they were basically four up, four pips up on what they should have been, because they should have been three down, two for two for crossing, and one for terrain. I'll maybe give them the one for terrain. I don't know. It just says die roll for attack on minus one. But it definitely said maneuver if, only if it's strictly higher than the defending general. They will take that crossing penalty. Anyway, enough grousing. It was what it was. Uh, I mean... If it had been something different, it might have been something different, but it wasn't. So, on that slight, without wanting to be offensive, Irishism, uh, we'll draw this session to a close. <laughs>